Good morning, students and teachers. I, Avi Tal from MP 5A, welcome you all to today's assembly. Today, we will take yet another step forward in the election process, which will ultimately lead to the formation of this year's Student Senate. The process of choosing candidates begins with self-nomination, following which self-nominated students write a letter of intent. The letter of intent is designed to determine the suitability of students as candidates. A panel of teachers evaluated the students in the following criteria. Work ethics, punctuality and regularity, emotional health and maturity, behavioral conduct with peers and others, participation in inter and inter-school events, and their letter of intent. The core Senate body consists of a school president, school captain, cultural secretaries, sports captains, and house captains. Students from OB4 and DP1 are eligible to be part of the core Senate. The Senate provides students with the opportunity to develop their own skills of leadership, communication, organization, and conflict resolution. Today, the chosen candidates who met the criteria for eligibility will be delivering speeches where they express their ideas. Candidates will be given one and a half minutes to deliver their speech. It is advised to pay close attention to each and every speech as right after the assembly, voting will take place through a Google form. Good morning. I'm Amrit Shivastava from BP1C and I am sick of our student council doing nothing every year. I was part of the first batch of students that ever moved into the middle school building. I have seen every iteration of the student senate without once seeing any change in school rules or policies. Every year, our school presidents have filled us up with empty promises of more sports period, esports tournaments, or some other enticing idea, but forgot completely about them when they got their shiny new badge. I guarantee you, everyone giving speeches today will make great promises of big change, but none will show you that they will actually act on their promises. I will. I will act on my promises and I can prove it to you. I worked hard to create a web page for the DPSI student body to share suggestions on. This will be especially useful during the pandemic when we can't meet each other in hallways. It's available right now on the following link. Every time you leave a suggestion on this, it will be publicly visible for everybody to see. This way, I can't just forget about my promises, like last year's eSports tournament. I have big plans as school president. I want to firstly re-enable the private messaging channel on Microsoft Teams. It is the easiest way to work in groups and contact teachers. It will make our life as students much easier, especially if we're stuck on Microsoft Teams till December. I also want to collate all of our tasks on either ManagePack or Teams, because as it stands, it's really hard to ignore, I mean complete, all of our tasks when we have to rummage through two different websites. I hope that with my speech today, I have shown you that unlike the other candidates, I will follow through on my promises. Thank you for your time, and I hope that I have won your vote. Hi, I'm Ansh Agawal, and I'm running for school president. I believe I'm a well-organized, disciplined, most historic individual who enjoys working effectively and swiftly. I, I can be strategic leader with a lot of potential, but also a reliable teammate, dragging my own weight and working for the team as a whole. While I'm an academic oriented student, I'm also proficient in martial arts, visual arts, basketball, and the violin. I received several international and national level, uh, level accolades in robotics, design, MUNs, and WSA. Given the current uh, situation of schooling due to the pandemic, I'll focus more on online issues first if I were to become present. Firstly, I believe that we should improve group assignments to make them more engaging. Um, and this is due to, the, uh, due to the lack of participation and difficulties in collaboration. Also, I'd like to re-enable Microsoft Teams chat for all students. I would like to properly introduce student ed clubs to develop interests, and I hope to create a platform for younger students to contact older students um, for guidance in MYP and TP subjects. Finally, I would like to address workload and proper breaks to maximize efficiency and reduce stress to help the student body in this trying time. I would like to work with the school to gradually open and safely go back to normal schooling. I have several ideas for offline sessions as well. One of the main things being I like to push for better organized practice sessions for our school's athletes, especially team sports like basketball and soccer. Due to time constraints, I couldn't mention all that I wanted to address and here's a quick look at uh, a few more areas just for me. On that note, I hope I've earned your trust and your vote for the presidential elections. Good morning everyone and thank you for coming out today. My name is Mani Malhotra, and I am proud to announce my candidacy for President of the Senate. 
When I won the election for school captain two years ago, it was on a very simple platform, not afraid to ask. And we did ask. Former President Jeb Patel and I worked tirelessly on your suggestions. And while we were not able to follow through on all of them, I learned that the key to being an effective Senate member was about establishing trust in the institution. Trust that my cabinet will represent your voices wherever possible. Because to quote entrepreneur Andrew Yang, we are stakeholders in this democracy, not inputs into a giant machine. But why am I fit to fight for you? Well, while this school year is drastically different, one thing that remains the same is the necessity for a president to embody the attributes of an effective leader. Perseverance, courage, empathy, dedication, values I've continued to uphold in my time at the school, not only as a consistently high-scoring student, but in my unparalleled extracurricular portfolio. Whether it's as our school's highest ever ranking WSC Senior Champion Scholar, as an athlete and a coach on the baseball diamond, as a performer on Teacher's Day, as a host for a plethora of assemblies, as an IB student ambassador to Didac, my record speaks for itself. Steve Jobs, when working on the Macintosh, once said, this thing is for the everyman. That's our end user. It's the garbage man. It's the kid. It's some grandma out of Nebraska. Same way, I'd be the president for the mad genius, for the basketball star, for the musical prodigy, I'd be the president for the everyman, the president for you. The volume of your voice does not decrease the validity of your argument. A quote by Steve Maraboli sums up my campaign, amplifying student voices. I want the Senate to be a medium for you, the student body, to represent yourself and get your opinions to matter, so you can be in charge of how you want your learning environment to be. We all attend classes and we're all part of a school. And thus, we all deserve the same opportunity for our opinions and our voice to be taken into consideration, which is what I will do if I become school president. Um, I've been an honorable student for almost every year at the school. I participate in competitions and sometimes win too. I would consider myself of average intellect, but none of these things really qualify me for the position I want to stand for. What qualifies me to be your school president is that I will stand up for you and support you because that is what the school president should do. I get into trouble too, and many times for reasons I don't quite understand. I want to change that. I want there to be transparency between students and the school, so we know why we should do what we are told to do. A school should be a collaborative and social environment where we all can learn and grow. To do this, I propose the idea of a youth court, kind of like a committee where you will get to represent yourself with ideas and changes which you want to inculcate in school. This is to increase your engagement in school. I care about your interests and your voice in what this school should be. This is a way to increase your engagement in school. I care about your interests and your voice in what this school should be. Another thing I really want to emphasize is sensitivity training for everyone. In this changing world, it is very easy to offend someone or get offended by opinions of other people. This will enable each and every one of us to understand one another better and in turn lead to a better learning environment. The most important thing I want to emphasize is that I'm here to listen to you and I'm always open to your opinions and I will try my best to bring those suggestions into play. Thank you and vote Nandini Saluja for school president. Good morning everyone, I'm Samar Bhogo, some of you may know me. And I'm signing for school president and I know what most of you are thinking right now. Legit, the girl who did WAP news a few days back now wants to go for president. Yes, yes I do. But let's get right into it. For a long, long time, I feel like the Senate has been seen as this group of people that forces you to go out for free play. And I feel it's time we change that because the Senate is not the police. They're a part of the school community. And my number one goal would be to make the Senate one more approachable and two more collaborative. When I say approachable, I mean I want you to feel comfortable with coming to me or anyone in the Senate about absolutely anything, whether personal or school related. A problem is a problem and an idea is an idea, no matter how big or small it deserves to be heard. And I'm going to make sure that we here to guide you through it. Now when I say collaborative, I actually mean a lot of things like let's take for example the eSports tournament that you guys were promised around two years ago and even after months and months of planning it never happened. But what I find really funny is that when I spoke to some of you about it, you guys knew exactly what to do to make it happen. So I guess my point is that instead of 
going and trying to figure out the ideas on my own. I want to sit with you guys, the ones who actually know what to do and give you the tools, the power and the platform to make these ideas possible. Now I have so much more to say about finally making school clubs and esports tournaments happen and DP homework schedules but I only have one and a half minutes so I would like to conclude by wishing all the candidates best of luck and please make sure to vote us Simmer Bhogur for president because I'm so excited. I have so many ideas. I can't wait to get started. Bye now. Have a great day. I'm Bhavika Malik and I'm running for school captain. Now, I know this transition has been hard on all of us because instead of spontaneously coming up with excuses for our homeworks, we spend about 6 hours a day praying that the teacher does not call on us. And needless to say, the praying never works. Nevertheless, DPSO emerged through these times with great strength and fervor and as a school captain, it would be my responsibility to maintain our upward trajectory. The settled body echoes in the ideologies and passion of the student. Therefore, I want to make sure that each voice is empowered. The Senate is a force that drives change, but the ability to make that change happen belongs to you all. Therefore, I leave no voice unheard. If elected, my first project would be to introduce a student talent exhibition, highlighting our virtuosity and interest in artistic and STEM-based endeavors. Perhaps you're a musician without an audience. Or maybe you're a scientist waiting to engage with like-minded individuals. Each of you will have an opportunity to embrace your creativity. Another focal point will be the increasing cyberbullying cases. Together with the IC department, we will make sure that each case is tackled and resolved. And with the help of a student-led task force, I will make sure that we foster a safe and nurturing environment for everyone. But above all else, I will make sure that nobody is left behind. Even in the face of hardship and uncertainty, I promise to follow through. Thank you. Greetings, respected teachers, dear students, and fellow candidates. My name is Damon Gupta, and I hope to be your school captain for this year. DPSI has allowed me to learn more about myself, and in doing so, I believe I have acquired most of the IB learner profiles. As a former vice captain of the school, I learned the most important skills are listening and working together with the Senate team, faculty, and students. Being the captain of the football team has taught me leadership, discipline, perseverance, commitment, empathy, and respect. World Scholar Cup and MUN have given me a platform to learn about crisis leadership, innovation, and on-the-spot thinking. A couple of ideas that I would like to invoke as school captain. Esport club. In these times where everyone is stuck to the screen, an esport club would be an opportunity for all the school to come and create new bonds. Breaks during classes. Most of us miss the 20 and 40 minute breaks. Some of us study, others ate, and legends like me slept. I believe these breaks are a helpful tool in reducing screen time and as a mechanism to reduce stress. Last but not least, cyberbullying. Please do not engage and don't feel shy to talk about it. I am free to help you in any way possible. I am well aware of the responsibility that lie before me. I may not have the best place and I definitely am not the golden child of my class, but I believe that my weaknesses are my driving point. I believe with your help, I will be able to overcome all these flaws. I know I am not perfect, but I will strive to be. I will put all my energy in being the best school captain for all of us. Elected or not, I am ready to help anyone who needs it, but I would be honored to be your voice for this academic year. Thank you and take care. Hello everyone present here today. My name is Dr. Johar and I am running for the post of school captain. I believe that I am a perfect fit for this position as firstly I abide by many, many learner profiles such as caring, reflective, open-minded and knowledgeable. Also, I've been in this school for five plus years and so know the policies and the rules inside out. I, I can surely promise you today that if we let this school captain, I'll be receptive to your ideas, suggestions, and also look to communicate your concerns to the school management. This being the year of wellness, I, I will be looking to target, target new and upcoming problems such as cyberbullying and mental health. I can, I can, I, I promise you today that if you vote for me, I won't let you down. I, I, I think the role of a school captain is not to be a superior and instead your friend and your voice. Even if not an elected school captain, I will be, I will look to solve this problem to the best of my ability. I want to wish my fellow candidates the very best of luck. Th thank you for being patient listeners.
Have you ever gone around school and looked at all the things we could do differently, but you didn't know how to make that change, so you let it go? Today, you make a choice to take a chance to make a change. Hi, I'm Anya Chaube, and when you vote me as Cultural Secretary, never again will an idea be dropped because I believe that every idea is worth sharing and I always give my 100%. You may have known me as the editor of Beats and the seventh top debater at the World Scholars Cup. But let me tell you who I am so that you can take a chance on me. My motto is simple, go big or go home. And I assure you that we together can raise the bar, but not build a wall like a certain president we all know. When you vote for me, you choose vision and commitment. I plan to introduce student-led annual inter-school events that promote musicians and artists, as well as theme weeks which can showcase hidden talent through music fests, movie watching, stand-up comedy, and journalism pools that celebrate life. I also envision MasterChef events that promote our budding bakers. The ideas are endless and exciting. On the subject of mental health, I want to emphasize on voicing the voiceless and helping those that have immense skills but not enough opportunities to showcase them. With your vote, support and consent, I will be there for you 24-7. Let the sweet aroma of great conversations, musical talent and blossoming authors thrive. Be part of the legacy and vote me. You may remember me from unsolicited interruptions or that enthusiastic girl jumping around the school hallways. But here is another side of me. I'm Anika Singhal of DP1B, running for the position of Cultural Secretary. Being the class representative, I exhibit leadership qualities along with immense creativity, which allows me to organize engaging and interactive assemblies. I aim to uphold the essence of our school as well as ensure active participation by blending talent and originality, even virtually. Keeping the school conduct in mind, I wish to introduce a new club that depicts social and political issues through creative expression. Another idea to promote artistry is to introduce a spirit week at the end of every school year, which would consist of days such as pajama day, crazy hair day, and so much more. Indulging in group discussions about mental health would help make it a priority, which is why I would like to introduce that for the staff members and develop upon the same for students. This medium will allow students to raise concerns about major topics such as bullying anonymously. Kobe Bryant once said, the most important thing to do is to try and inspire people so that they can be great in whatever they want to do. I, Anika Singhal, would like to seek your support to get selected for the Cultural Secretary. Hi everyone, uh, my name is Navya Mishra and I'm running for Cultural Secretary. Now I believe that everyone has the potential to do absolutely anything. So as the Cultural Secretary, I want to give students the opportunity to voice their opinions and express themselves as freely as possible while proposing the concept of being there. So some students already know their talents and I want to be there to give them a platform to showcase them. Now some of us have talents but are probably too self-conscious to reveal them. So I will be there as a friend and guide and encourage them in developing them. Some others might not know yet what they're capable of. So I will be there to help them explore new possibilities and find their passions and interests. And I will do so by making the process as inclusive, fun, and safe as possible. So learning never stops. And I believe that by being there, we can help each other embrace what makes us unique as individuals. And um, I will utilize my creative abilities as an artist, musician, and my experience in event organizing for the same. Um, I will work towards the student council being more engaging virtually while focusing on making students of all grades comfortable enough to discuss anything that they want to. Being there will help people reach out and proactively prevent bullying of any kind. I'm Navya Mishra and I hope you vote for me as your cultural secretary. Thank you. The value of an idea is in the using of it. Good morning boys, girls and teachers. My name is Shashul Joblekar and I'm running for cultural secretary. I'd briefly like to mention my accolades. I have been part of SC teams that have come first in debate, 
7th in Scholars Bowl and 10th overall. I have also been part of an MUN where I have gotten a high recommendation and done countless music examinations. These experiences have made me open-minded, organized, a capable communicator and honed in some of the fine arts. Students are an essential part of DPSI culture and while it's our job to organize and plan events, the ideas don't always have to come from the Senate or the teachers. I want the students to do the talking. Whether it be a literature fest, a rock concert or a dance competition, you should suggest your ideas. I want the students to do the talking for sure. A school's culture is like a movie where you all are the script writers and we are the directors. No matter how good we are at directing, without a script, it all falls apart. I'd also like to address cyberbullying, one of modern society's greatest concerns. One third of teens have experienced cyberbullying at some point, and as Millie Bobby Brown said, if you don't have anything nice to say, just don't say it. I want to promote a healthy culture at DPSI, with students being a vital part of the school thought process, whether it be suggesting events or improvements. I'd like to leave you with a thought. Walter Lippmann once said, Culture is the name for what people are interested in, their thoughts, their models, the books they read and the speeches they have. Thank you for listening and may you vote for the best idea. Greetings to one and all present here. I am Shivangi Thamija from DP1A and I am running for the cultural secretary. Now it is okay to think, why would we vote for her? Well, she is new and I didn't even know she existed until now. So why would I pick her over my friends who are running for the same post? Well, I have a lot to say about myself and 1.5 minutes is not enough for that. So instead I'll tell you why I think I am a suitable fit to be a cultural secretary. I believe that a good leader is the one who listens to and puts other people's opinions before their own. I am ready to be your voice and acknowledge your opinions because I'm going to be your representative. Another reason for why I can see myself as a successful cultural secretary is because I believe in open-mindedness. In my opinion, diversity in cultures, races, genders and social backgrounds is what actually creates an environment where we're given the exposure to learn from our differences. I strongly stand against bullying and peer pressurizing. As a cultural secretary, I will make sure to introduce an advocate regarding the multiple helplines created for students and teenagers to seek help and stand against the bully. As we're learning through a virtual platform, it is important to keep ourselves engaged even if it is not physically. As a cultural secretary, I will make sure that there are enough opportunities and platforms where students get to connect, socialize and support each other during our times at home. Each vote matters, make yours count. Vote for Shivangi as your cultural secretary. Hello everyone, I'm Chris Fargus here to win your vote and to be elected as a sports captain for the ongoing academic year. Most of you must be wondering why I should be elected as your sports captain. Well, I believe that I possess the qualities that construct a perfect candidate. This is, this is because I understand how to mediate between the needs of the students and the concerns of the school board. It will be hard for me to promise esports and changes in the school menu, which is why I would like to make a small promise. That promise is that I would like to make sports a greater priority in the eyes of the teachers and the school administration. I have had my own experience in virtual training during the pandemic and believe it is an effective way to stay fit and healthy, which is why I would like to propose an after school edge activity for interested students if elected as a sports captain. Another pertinent issue I would like to work upon is bullying. Like any sensible human being, I detest this practice in any institution. The first step to tackle this issue is for the students who have witnessed instances of bullying to report such encounters. Once the school counselors are aware of these encounters, it will be made much easier for them to guide and counsel the students of our school. I would like to end this video by sharing a few of my achievements as an IB MYP student. These achievements are an indication of the balance I have created between sports and academics. In sports, I have proved myself in football, swimming, athletics and cricket competitions. And while doing all of this, I also managed to receive the role of honor for my academic achievements. I would like to thank you all for watching this video and I hope the most deserving candidate wins. Bruce Lee once said, I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Such discipline, tenacity and patience is the very foundation of sports. Greetings respective teachers and fellow students. I am Ritwik Sharma of MYP4B and I am contesting for sports captain so that I can represent you, your aspirations, your pain areas, your challenges with one main objective, that is to continuously improve and achieve laurels for ourselves, our school 
and our community without compromising our academics so that we all emerge as balanced global citizens. I am a professional swimmer and I am one of your colleagues at school, district, state and national level for my school and swimming academy. Likewise, I am academically excellent too. As a swimmer, I have learnt that teamwork, honesty, transparency and camaraderie are the only commandments that can make you succeed in sports or in life. As a sports captain, I would like to be yours rather than our voice in the school and would like to have eSports come sports simulation club initiated with the help and blessings of our school teachers so that we have interactive sessions when our sports skills and handling of emotional challenges on and off the field are owned. I, Ritwik Sharma, promise you today that when I get elected, I will add a new chapter in our school sports and most importantly, will collaborate with all of you at every stage. Thank you. Hello, teachers and students. I'm Siddharth Sharma from DP1A and I'm running for sports captain. To tell you a bit about myself, I joined the school in mid-October of last year and up until then, my entire schooling had been from the US. I was a member of the CSF or the California Scholarship Federation right from grade 6 to grade 9. For those who don't know, the California Scholarship Federation is a statewide honors award given to students who not only excel at academics but also demonstrate a high standard of service towards the society. In 2018, I received the President's Award for Academic Excellence from President Donald J. Trump. In my freshman year, I was swim team captain and in my previous years, I was track co-captain as well as student invigilator for three consecutive years. So knowing my background, I guess it's pretty evident that I've always maintained a balance between my studies, sports, and service towards the society. If you vote for me as sports captain, I'll try to be the best role model I can. I'll be fair and approachable to all, and will resolve every issue that is directed towards me. Until we continue with our virtual classes, I will stay connected and will monitor the various online platforms, Instagram, Discord, etc. to ensure that no harassment, bullying, or discrimination is being entertained by anyone. I will also promote esports rather than the usual physical exercise and yoga because now more than ever during this current pandemic, it's a perfect time for introducing esports in our school. Please vote for me as sports captain, Siddharth Sharma. Thank you for your time. Good morning, everyone. My name is Soman Fargadi and I'm running for the position of sports captain this year. First, let me tell you why I'm fit for the position. I've represented our school in sports. I've led our football team in various tournaments like the FC Bayern Cup and numerous football matches. From going to weekend practices to organizing our team, I've always been involved with the sports department of our school, something you should consider while giving a vote. I've represented FC Barcelona Academy Gurgaon in North India. Also, I've been a part of the school senate last year as class representative. It would be at this point of the speech where I tell you about the various initiatives I would take for the sports day and inter-house competitions. But, Unfortunately, due to these unprecedented times, I can't expect that to happen as much as I hope so. Now, you must be wondering the role of sports now that the school has shifted online and we're stuck in our houses. That, I'll say, still is important and we'll persevere through these tough times. Keeping that in mind, I plan on increasing the digital content of sports through our platforms. Next, I plan on initiating a run club for interested individuals. At your own pace, in your own place, we can come together as a community, even through this pandemic. With that being said, I hope you'll choose me as a sports captain this year. Thank you. We are the messy youth who refuse to believe in magic and tales anymore. But underneath the cover, tales are what give us hope that tomorrow will be better. These are the inspiring lines written by a young writer who went through various challenges as a teenager but found solace in sports, which completely changed her approach towards life. She is one of you, and with her numerous achievements, like being the captain of the basketball girls team, a podium finisher in multiple athletic meets, and representing our country internationally in sporting events, she seeks to be your sports captain. Presenting myself, Ananya Kar from DP1A. Laser focused guidance from my mentors led me to develop a strong attachment towards sports, teaching me to keep a progressive and logical mindset. Using this, I aspire to create an atmosphere with resilience, teamwork and determination. 
My experiences as a health influencer for promoting fitness among the youth will allow me to wisely enhance student participation in sports. This knowledge along with my leadership skills will enable me to be a friendly guide to you all. I also strive to boost the confidence of sports enthusiasts and ignite a spark of sports in you all. My aim is to create a platform where we can openly discuss sports psychology based training and have healthy sports interactions. I would be honored to be given the chance to take our school to newer levels in sports as your female school sports captain. Thank you. Nelson Mandela says that sports has the power to change the world. It speaks to youth in a language they understand. Good afternoon everyone, I'm Vrinda Kapoor and I'm running for the position of the sports captain. While I enjoy reading and painting, over the past few years, sports has taken the center stage of my life, turning me into a district level badminton player. Discipline, hard work, responsibility and respect are simply the amazing byproducts of playing any sport. And this is precisely why I'm running for this position. Through the prism of sports, I want us all to experience these amazing qualities in full measure. Today, living in the virtual world, many young minds are not engaged positively, giving rise to cyberbullying. This is the time to innovate, change poison into medicine. As your sports captain, I will collaborate with other co senate positions and teachers to organize inter-house competitions like quizzes and many interesting sport challenges. I will also focus on the upkeep of our mental health. This will be done through panel discussions and distribution of, of relevant videos and articles. I will help create an atmosphere of challenge, participation, healthy competition, and purpose, and provide stimulus to students who under normal circumstances do not participate in many activities. I'm sure you will encounter many excellent candidates, but please take your own vice calls. From my end, I can assure you that by voting for me, you and I together can make this year a year of transformation. Hello everyone. My name is Ahana Kashyap. I'm a DP1 student. I'm aspiring to become the house captain of Gandhi House. I strongly believe my creativity and lateral thinking can manifest into certain successful initiatives. The Gen Z is full of dynamism. So most of us want opportunities to display our caliber. If I get this position, I plan to come up with initiatives like inter-house debating competitions. I have noticed that nowadays the debating culture is getting heavily dominated by MUNs. It is very hard to ensure a smooth flowing debate in MUNs. So we need a more liberal approach towards debating. Many of you share your point of view regarding current global or local affairs through the means of social media, like for instance, the George Floyd case. All that energy can be channelized in debating a platform where there's a multiplicity of perspectives. So the other thing about me is that discussing current affairs really interests me. I believe inter-house quiz competitions, a mini TEDx and a stand-up comedy show can be effective for interaction among students and teachers in a virtual setup. Just a little more about myself, I have received a distinction in Trinity Drama and I've participated in World Scholars Cup Global Round. Lastly, issues like cyberbullying have been of huge concern during this pandemic, so I would like to contribute towards sensitizing the student body with regards to this issue with the means of frequent in interactions specifically meant for emotional and mental well-being. Thank you. Listening is essential in order to help someone. Dear students and teachers, I'm Aradhya Bhagat of DP1B and I'm here to listen. I'm here to understand your ideas and ensure that you're being heard. I'm here to provide Gandhi House members with a platform where they can express themselves, showcase their talents and develop new interests. To all the middle schoolers, sophomores and freshmen watching this, I know what it feels like to be in your shoes as you try to explore new possibilities and try to decipher what your future will look like. I hope to make this process easier for you by developing new clubs where you can try different things from dancing to coding to sculpting. Virtual learning has taken a toll on all of us and effective communication between teachers and students is essential now more than ever. Last year, I participated in the World Scholars Club, which taught me so much. 
but the most important thing I learned was the significance of working as a team. I hope to accelerate collaboration amongst Gandhi House members and I hope to contribute to make virtual learning as smooth and engaging as possible. It is essential to listen in order to help someone. Thank you students and teachers. I'm Aradhya Bhagat running for Gandhi House Captain and I'm here to help. Many of you may not know, I play guitar. Learning a musical instrument requires work, time and dedication, which stands true for any position that requires commitment. Learning a new chord progression can be stretchless, which is just the type of commitment that I'll bring to the table if elected. My name is Antra Gupta and today I stand for the position of Lincoln House Captain. Firstly, I would like to address any mixed emotions regarding my candidature. I have played an active role in collaborative tasks and I'm open to new perspectives as they allow us to view the bigger picture through which I can partake in decisions with a balanced opinion and act as the bridge between the student body and the teachers. But most of all, give each one of you a free voice and tap into our vast potential. I will work towards establishing sensitivity and fight for transparency and equality. Due to the lockdown, confined to our homes, our imagination has quite less room to grow. So now is the time to innovate and redesign. I would like to organize competitions, debates and discussions, such as the impact of the ban of TikTok and PUBG on our social lives. These would greatly help us build better bonds. I would like to suggest workshop ideas regarding the virtual atmosphere, regulating screen time, nutritional choices and also drugs, alcohol and smoking. I plan to address peer pressure, healthy competition, mental health and curb cyberbullying with a collaborative effort. As there's always room for improvement, a suggestion platform for the same. Nevertheless, I can't promise you an ideal role model. I may falter at times, but all we can do is embrace our negatives and endeavor our positives. As Mother Teresa said, you can do what I cannot. I can do what you cannot. Together, we can do great things. For Lincolnites. Good morning, everyone. The sole purpose of this video is to inform you about why I'm the best suited for this job. The answer is quite simple. You most probably already know me as a friend, a student, or an acquaintance. You might have seen me on the basketball court or photographing events at school. But if none of that rings a bell, hi, I'm Naisha Dhaya and I'm running for the position of Lincoln House Captain. Here's a really quick rundown on why I believe I'm best suited for this job. One, I have the leadership skills. Two, I'm experienced and seasoned. And three, I'm a well-balanced individual. Here are a bunch of things that qualify me for this job. However, in these unprecedented times when the entire world has moved online, there's confusion, chaos, and panic. And as a student, I personally understand these hardships. If elected captain, I want to make sure that we don't just attend classes for five hours a day and we have opportunities to socialize amongst peers and teachers in these isolating times. Having been house captain in the past, I understand this responsibility better than anyone else. I know the lunch or breakfast duties we try to avoid, the house meetings that were bunked, and the hesitation before inter-house competitions. However, walking past the house Sally board and seeing Lincoln on the top made me want to do it all over again. Therefore, I, Naisha Thaya, ask for your vote to continue today's Lincoln House flag high. Vote me, Naisha Thaya, as Lincoln House captain. Thank you. students, friends, and teachers. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Aditya Sharma and I am here as a contender for the position of Churchill House Captain. Churchill has been a rather underrated house as compared to the others, uh, where we ourselves have um, given up on competing in various events. If you ask me internally, Churchill has uh, been challenging to sustain as a family. And in my eyes, we are nowhere near our maximum potential. So now, how do we go about uh, utilizing our in enormous potential? Uh, it's not going to be easy, of course, but at the end of the day, it's going to be done by us. Uh, I believe we should intend to output by working to our potential, maintaining top class uh, quality in all we do. Now, what do I mean by quality? The value of the work we present. My vision is to uh, be open to all perspectives, keeping 
practicality as a pillar of strength. So now you must be thinking, why should you vote for me? My involvement in a student senate where I've served two years as a class representative in the past guarantees my knowledge of senate affairs and uh, protocols that need to be maintained. The experience assures that I would be able to expand what the current student, student uh, council has been working towards, which is a student senate that values work ethics, compassion and excellence above all. Now, uh, I have represented uh, the school in various arts and music competitions. I have uh, represented DPSI with my teammates at the World Scholars Cup uh, Tournament of Champions at Yale University in uh, the America. And uh, in, consider in consideration of uh, sports, I have won many football championships with the school team. And recently, I've represented the IB boards in a national uh, basketball championship. This ensures my involvement with you in each and every aspect. Together we shall and together we will. Thank you. Did you know majority of the people in our generation are more afraid of giving speeches rather than death itself? Well, it's ironic because I'm one of those people, but here I am. The biggest question to everyone who's been given something to talk about in a room full of people remains the same. Where do I begin? Well, my name is Medha Omar and I'm running for Churchill House Captain. Before I start with what I plan to do, let me give you an insight into who I am as an individual. I would describe myself as a dedicated and organized student. I like playing basketball and table tennis specifically. I love traveling and I usually delve into anything that even mildly intrigues me. My hobbies include photography and occasionally arts and craft. I plan to promote events, encourage, motivate, and support house participation, competitive spirit, and sportsmanship. I will lead and support my fellow Churchill House peers in a variety of house competitions. Martin Luther King once said, I have a dream. Well, I have a dream too, to keep Churchill House on top of the leaderboard. Communication is key, especially now that we have transferred onto an online platform. Instead of complaining, why don't we take advantage of technology? I'm proposing house competitions that suit the virtual platform, like a photography contest where participants share a photo as an entry. It could be a picture of their favorite outfit, best memory, or featuring an item that has kept them sane through lockdown. Another option could include Trivia Week, where we test our knowledge on several topics. The possibilities are endless. Vote for me. I'll be your voice. In fifth grade, my house cap motivated me to be part of the debate competition. That's when I first realized the importance of these house competitions. They allow us to explore our interests, to put on new faces, to win, and more importantly, to lose, but have each other's back through it all. We are here in the school for just some time, till we are ready to chase what lies ahead of us. Therefore, creating peer relations is so important. As a house captain, that's exactly what I want. I want to be able to have house meetings that you look forward to coming to. I've been in three schools and by comparison that's not a lot, but um, it has taught me some things. First, to be present to the things around me. I promise to seek out people and their interests. Motivate us to be better than we were yesterday. Two, to be open to people. They can surprise you beyond imagination and I can't wait to be surprised. Three, it's okay to have a little fun on the task. A spoonful of sugar makes the medicine go down. <laughs> Had I not been motivated that day to be part of the debate competition, I wouldn't have taken part in it and I wouldn't have known my voice. Today, I'm gonna pass on the uh, baton to you. I'm gonna pass on the power to you. As Coach Jones once said, we do things as a team, gentlemen. Thank you and happy voting. Good morning, dear students, teachers, Ms. Seema and Ms. Seema. I hope you're all staying safe during this horrible pandemic. I'm here today to ask you to vote for me for the role of Mandela House Captain. You should vote for me because I'm a good listener, I display qualities of good sportsmanship and resilience, but more importantly, I care. 
I care about all the members of my house, I care about Mandela, and I care about my school. I have served as Mandela house captain before, which has given me enough understanding of what a leadership role requires. As house captain, I want to help solve the apparent lack of communication among students and teachers. I promise to help bridge the communication gap and build a better understanding of some of the challenges that students face in online schooling and even after school reopens. I promise that after becoming house captain, I will fulfill my duties to the best of my ability. I'll always be there for any student facing challenges, keeping their best interests at heart. I promise to lead the house in all competitive events to a winning position and not only make Mandela House better, but also make it the best. I believe I'm the most suitable candidate for Mandela House captain. Please vote for me. Thank you. Have any of you wondered how boring and woefully hushed house meetings are? Generally, the only thing we as students do is chat, hide behind chairs or tables, so a teacher doesn't forcefully pick us to participate in an event we despise. And many times, our interests don't match what our house has to offer in various competitions, which is why house meetings lack zeal. But what if I told you that everyone needs a little bit of Lucifer in them? Evil deeds that we desire to be punished turn into opportunities with a sprinkle of diversity and humor. The problem is why should I participate in such an event when I don't even show any interest or passion towards it, so why me? I've seen this happening with many students in house meetings and in general too, which is what I'll address if you choose to vote for me. Amongst the many factors that determine why I'm perfect for the role of leading Mandela House, I want you all to know what I have achieved doesn't matter, what I'll do with those achievements to create an impact does. I show interest in every field of academics and sports with two years of experience in leadership. I've been the house captain before in my previous school and have been part of the school senate in MYP2. I'm principled while dealing with academics and always spark motivation in people when they feel blue or devastated. I intend to change in how house meetings work, create multiple opportunities for students and show others what we are best at because after all, all we all want to be victorious after spending multiple months on perfecting a skill and hold true to the teachings of Nelson Mandela. Having said that, I go by one statement. Always keep the public's interest over the governing body's interest. Thank you. Greetings to all. My name is Gunika Singh and I'm contesting to be the house captain of Mandela House. The reason why I think I'm a good fit for this position is because I'm a proactive individual who notices problems and comes up with solutions to implement. I suggest that we create a new body system in which new students interact with old students so that they don't miss out on basics like how the school online setup works. I have some other suggestions such as introducing a book club lesson in which a teacher does storytelling of some parts of the book to make us interested in reading. Like when Anusha ma'am inspired us to read the book Wonder through her storytelling. This way we make reading exciting and interesting for students. Also, I will organize some amazing inter-house online competitions for singing, fun board games and etc. so that we get a break from constant online classes. During the lockdown, we have been working with no books, so we are doing a lot of research for our resources. So we need to be safe online, especially from adult sites, and not leak out our personal details. Therefore, I am writing an email to Google to consider my suggestion for making a Google children browser like YouTube has done. Also, I am available to help you and support you, even to facilitate seeking help from our school counsellors in case of a cyberbullying. Thank you. Thank you to all candidates who have delivered insightful speeches, expressing their ideas. Hopefully, each of us have candidates in mind in whom we are willing to place our trust. As stated before, a Google Form link will be shared in the chat box, which will allow you to vote. Ensure that you do place your vote in a timely manner, as the form will be closed by 1.30pm today. You can all return back to your respective teams for the voting. All the best.